Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to do amazing watermark removal. And I'm not talking about just kinda of getting it right, I'm talking about perfect watermark removals. And I'm gonna show you how to do it for free using Photoshop level software. This is literally Photoshop on the internet. It is completely free and it is amazing. And I've got an example here, as you can see, this is the original image, it has copyright in the middle of it. And then the revised version has nothing. You can't see anything in it. How did I do it? Let me show you step by step. So I'm gonna close all this up and we're gonna go from the beginning. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to adobe.com and then on Adobe, you're gonna see something called Firefly. This is what we're going for. If you do not see it, I will put a link in the description below, so don't panic. You can just click on the link and it will take you there. When you see a page like this, basically you want to explore, explore Firefly. So I'm gonna click on Explore Firefly. Come on, Curtis, use your words. And then you're gonna see this here. And right now Firefly has four major uh, sections that are available, text to image, generative fill, text effects, and generative recolor. The one we want is generative fill. And again, if you don't see this, I will link it in the description so you'll get there directly. I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. And when I do that, before I show you the magic, I wanna show you something here. I'm gonna click on my account and then I'm gonna view my account. And the reason why I'm doing this is I wanna show you that I have a free account. And you'll see it here, it says upgrade your free plan today. This is of no cost at what I'm showing you here. So again, totally free. Now, let's go into my Finder. If you're on a PC, it may be uh, Windows Explorer. What we wanna do is we just wanna find the image that you wanna take the copyright off or the watermark, I guess is the right way to put it. So I'm just gonna grab this image here. It's just one of many, but why not? And then you're gonna see here that I can go ahead and drag and drop it in here. So I'm just gonna click on here, make sure I've got it correct. I'm gonna drag and drop it. And then when it lights up here and you'll see the highlight, just drag it in and then presto, we are now using generative fill. All you need to do is make sure that insert is selected or add here down at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna brush over what I want to remove. In this case, it's the word copyright and it's right in the middle of the image. Once I've got that done, you can write something in here if you want it to be something different. If you wanted to put a unicorn in there, for example, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna leave it as is and click on generate. When you do that, you're basically telling uh, Firefly here that we just want it to go ahead and kind of fill that in and do a good job. And holy smokes, it did a good job. I mean, literally it's gone. You'd have to really look hard to see it, but you always get four cracks at it. So if that doesn't work for you, you can click on this one. If you like that sort of mountain or that sort of mountain, or that one, whatever, they're all good. Click on keep it, and that is literally it. And all you gotta do now is you can go ahead and just right click and download it. But there we go, we've got it, it's done. There's your image, thanks for watching.